many. Hi, this is Aaron Cannon from CanonAccess.com. And in this video, I wanted to talk about ARIA Live regions. Specifically, I'm going to talk about the attributes ARIA-Live and ARIA-Atomic. And I'm going to demonstrate how those work with screen readers, specifically JAWS 11, which is the latest version of JAWS. And uh, we're going to be working in Firefox, as you can see. And, uh, and that's also the latest version. So what are live regions? Well, essentially, live regions are, make it possible for uh, you, the web designer, to tell screen reader users that a particular portion of your web page has been updated. Now, if you don't use ARIA and you just have your uh, uh, web page update dynamic uh, content uh, and the reader doesn't happen to review that portion of the web page, uh, the screen reader doesn't go over that portion, then uh, the user will never know that it's changed. And so ARIA, like I said, allows you to notify the user of that fact. And so let me uh, just show you this web page has a little bit of dynamic content on it. Uh, it's going to change the color name every two seconds after I click the start button. So let me go ahead and click the start button and you'll hear start that the screen reader, screen reader will not say anything. Enter start button. So as you can hear, the screen reader hasn't said anything, even though you can see that the uh, color name has been updating. If I go and actually read that line with the screen reader, um, I can tell what it says at this point in time. Let my favorite color is purple. Let my favorite color is white. So I can read that line, no problem, but the, uh, the issue is that um, unless I know that it's going to change, I wouldn't know to go reread that portion because I've already read it. Why would I need to read it again? Uh, you know, users don't, in general, expect content to change on web pages, uh, and so they're not likely to reread it and go looking for changes. So uh, let me add a little bit of ARIA now to this page. Alt tab, live read, add, greater, P, greater, space, A R I A dash L I B equals quote, P O L I T -E, quote. Well, greater. So I have aria-live equals polite, as you can see, and the uh, aria-live attribute has four different se possible settings. Off, which is the default, and that's what you heard. Basically, it means uh, don't worry about it, or don't read it. Uh, polite, which is this setting. Assertive, and rude. And these are listed in order of assertiveness basically how hard the screen reader will work to get the user's attention. So let's just start out with polite and Control. save that Alt -tab. and reload. Control -R. Virtual. But okay, now I'm going to click the start button and you'll hear what the screen reader does. Start button. Enter. Start. Green. Red. Purple. White. Alt -tab. Live. So as you can hear, it does read the color name as it updates. Um, however, that doesn't give us very much context. Uh, now this is a very simple page, so it's probably pretty easy to, for the user to figure that one out. But uh, say this was a very large page, you know, and we just read the updated content. Well, if the updated content is very small, it may not give enough context to the user to know what what's being updated. What what you know white what. Um, so if we want to offer a little more context, we can cause the screen reader to reread the entire element rather than just the portion that changes. Ed. So greater, quote, greater. the way we do that is by the atomic attribute. Space A R I A dash A T O L C equals quote T E quote. Okay. So now I have aria dash atomic equals true. So let me go ahead and save this and show you what, what happens when we use that. Control S. Alt tab. Must control R. 100 virtual piece. File start button. Enter start button. My favorite color is green. My favorite color is red. My favorite color is purple. My favorite color is white. Alt tab. So as you can hear, it rereads the entire paragraph. Um, now, let me show you uh, the difference between polite and rude. First of all, here's polite, and I'm going to go ahead and read another portion of the page. 
and you'll hear that the uh, it'll wait until I'm finished before it reads me uh, the changed text. So here we go. Alt tab. This text is here just to give the screen reader something to read. It does not say anything important. It will be used later on in the demo, but for now you can just ignore it. My favorite color is green. My favorite color is red. My favorite color is purple. My favorite color is white. My favorite color. So my favorite color is red. Alt tab. As you can hear there, it read the entire paragraph, and then it read every single change that happened uh, between uh, from when it started reading the paragraph until the end, and so it had to uh, to catch up. And since this refresh rate on this uh, uh, since this text is being updated so frequently, it would probably never would have caught up. But um, anyway, the uh, so so as you can tell, it it reads everything uh, that changed since the uh, since you started reading. So it doesn't interrupt you. It just saves everything up and then reads it all at the end. Now uh, let's compare that to the rude setting. Home aria aria quote e quote e t i o e r u d e e t u r quote control alt tab control r one hundred virtual file start button. Okay. So this is what happens when you have it set to rude. I'm going to go ahead and start it, and then I will begin to listen to the other paragraph. Enter start button. My favorite color is green. My favorite color is red. Okay, here goes the other my paragraph. My favorite color is this text is here just to, My favorite color is white. My favorite color. So as you is can black. hear, it interrupted it. My this text is here just to give the screen. Re my favorite this text is here just to give. My favorite color is red. This text is here. My favorite color is purple. All tap. So I can't read very much of that. Uh, screen reader, and uh, excuse me, I can't read very much of that paragraph. And so, uh, this is where you need to really be careful. And to be honest, unless you know exactly what you're doing, I would advise against using the rude setting uh, because it is so invasive. And like many accessibility uh, options and features, by using this in a wrong way, you can actually make your web page quite inaccessible. And so be very careful, uh, be very careful how you use the, the rude setting. All right, I'm going to go ahead and switch us back to polite. Equal quote, R-U-D-E quote, E-D-U-R, P-O-L-I-T-E, equals A-R-I. And I'm going to get rid of the atomic setting. R-A space, greater, greater. Okay. Now, uh, I want to demonstrate something that is a very common error with ARIA Live regions. And that is that a lot of developers assume that just because the text on the page doesn't change, that it won't be read. But in fact, the text is read every time it's updated, whether or not the text is changed. Uh, so you have to be very careful about how you program your scripts to update the text on the screen. Let me show you what I mean by that. Top. So let me uh, go up here to the JavaScript. Okay, this is the array that holds all the color names that is iterated through. So let me Home. comment this out. Slash star and star slash enter. And I'll create a new one. V A R space O L O R S space space left bracket apostrophe D A T E apostrophe comma space apostrophe D A T E apostrophe right bracket semicolon send right apostrophe Control S, Alt Tab, Mozilla, Control R, 100, Virtual. So this should just change to the color white and stay there, and uh, it shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't change uh, on the screen at all. But start button, Enter, Start button, White, 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 Alt Tab, Live. So as you can hear, the color is being reread uh, even though it's not actually changing because the the JavaScript is still updating the page even though it's updating with the same text it gets reread and so like I said be very careful uh, not to just blindly update your page even if the content hasn't changed only to update the page if the content has actually changed so that you don't fire the uh, Aria Live region and and cause the screen reader to reread that portion of the page unnecessarily. So that uh, should give you a pretty good start at implementing Aria Live regions. If you do have any questions, please feel free to 
uh, drop me a line. You can find my email address at my blog, and that website is at canonaccess.com, C-A-N-N-O-N, access, A-C-C-E-S-S, dot com. And uh, feel free to contact me with any comments or questions. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Select the action cams tab, right space, contact, stop.